So I'm Thomas Lovejoy. I'm a professor at George Mason University, the first conservation fellow at the National Geographic. But I'm just somebody who's really excited about life on Earth. So I've been researching in the Amazon since June of 65. So it's, it's 50 years plus. You know, when I first went, there was only one road. Right? It was a biologist's dream. Right? It was the greatest tropical wilderness filled with things that nobody knew anything about. Uh, and it was only later that I began to realize that it was changing. Now, one of the things I remember very vividly is, is when I set up this uh, ongoing experiment in habitat fragmentation. I uh, did it while the forest was continuous. We laid out where we wanted the forest to remain. And I remember the first time I went back and that was all that remained. It was sort of like a sock in, in the gut, right? It's like, oh my God, it's just gone like that. The really good news is that a major amount of the excess CO2 in the atmosphere today is not from the burning of fossil fuels, although that's big. Uh, there's a major percent which comes from centuries of the destruction and degradation of ecosystems. Recognizing that all life is made of carbon, anything we do to reforest or restore a grassland or restore a coastal wetland will be trapping CO2 back out of the atmosphere before it actually in turn uh, drives up uh, the overall temperature of the earth. So here we are in Aspen, uh, climate change is already affecting Aspen, we know that. But th I think there are also a lot of opportunities uh, in this area to restore ecosystems. And I think one of the really nice things about this is that everybody can contribute individually where they live. This is no longer just this impossible problem of what can I possibly do uh, to oversimplify, but not much. Everybody can plant a tree. So it's very empowering of the individual. Thank you.